Hi, I'm Alan Carl, and I'm going to take you on an adventure. I mean, this bike is is it's in pieces right now. Are we gonna are we gonna be able to get this ready? It says there's no record of my bag even arriving here. Um, we're trying to get this prepared over the next day and a half. Hi, I'm Alan Carl, and I'm going to take you on an adventure. Now, this is the first episode of my very first multi-episode series here on World Rider TV. That's right, and we're going on a ride. First, we're gonna fly to Athens, Greece, pick up my motorcycle, that same motorcycle I've ridden all over the world on, and then we're gonna head and ride through the island nation of Cyprus. It'll be like my 80th some odd country. That's right, and from Cyprus, we'll make our way to Sicily and ride through that island's rugged terrain before catching a ferry to the archipelago nation of Malta. After riding through that, we'll find our way to the largest island in Greece and we will explore Crete. It'll be my first adventure, solo motorcycle adventure abroad since COVID. What could go wrong? Everything. 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 Now to tell you the story correctly, I'm gonna have to take you back a bit. Now though I never did get COVID, during lockdown I got hit with a very bad case of vertigo. You know what vertigo is, right? You wake up and it's like, ooh, weirdness in the head. Feeling of dizziness, spinning, loss of balance. Vertigo. Not good for a adventure motorcyclist. So before I felt safe, comfortable, to get back on that bike and ride alone in some faraway place, I needed to do a couple test rides. I used my motorcycle that I have in California, I call it my surrogate dock, and take it to the beautiful mountains and winding roads of eastern San Diego. Passed that test. Check. Then I'd have to go south of the border. That's right, into Mexico on an overnight ride into Baja, California. Once again, passed that test. Check. Now, the plan was simple. First, to get to Athens, we're gonna fly to Toronto, where we'll switch planes and head to Munich, Germany. We're in Germany, we'll switch to an Aegean Airlines flight from Munich directly to Athens. And then in Athens, I'll reunite with that motorcycle. It's that same motorcycle I've ridden everywhere on. I've been storing it in Greece for the last five years, where every year pre-COVID, I would explore the Eastern European countries and beyond. But you have to understand, I haven't seen that bike or my friends in Athens in, in nearly two years. And I'm also going to admit that sometimes it's kind of tough to leave paradise where I live here in San Diego. Yeah. You know, but no, this time I'm ready to get back on the bike and on the road. So I packed up all my motorcycle gear into my bags and at the crack of dawn headed to San Diego airport. And that's where it started. One thing after another, like dominoes. My whole plan fell apart. Okay, well, it's uh, 4th of July weekend here. I'm at uh, San Diego International Airport about 11 in the morning. Uh, I did arrive here today a little after 6 a.m. So I've been hanging out here for almost five hours. It started out a little tough today. My Uber driver that I'd reserved the day before never showed up. So when I got to the airport, I was pushing it a little bit. But I still managed to get here within that hour window before the flight took off. Except here in San Diego, the Air Canada employees were not to be found. There was nobody at the counter when I arrived. So I could not check my bags. I could not get through security. I could not get on that flight. Trying to get a hold of anybody at Air Canada was a disaster. I kept getting cut off. So, is since I booked this flight using American Express, I contacted American Express and they worked with me and said they'll take care of any of these uh, possible charges that could happen. But I'd have to stay with them on the phone until they got a hold of Air Canada. After two and a half hours of on hold, finally American Express got Air Canada and 
That's right. I am now booked on a flight tomorrow. So everything's put off by a day, but at least I'm still moving. Okay. Things are looking up. Day two, San Diego airport. Believe it or not, I got past security. I got a boarding pass. And bags are checked. Air Canada. Two stops. Toronto, a couple hours. Hop on a plane to Munich. May I have your attention, please? Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. So, Munich, hour and ten minutes, I think. So I'm hoping that it's not... It's a pretty big airport, but we'll see. Then to Athens. From there, Nick, the taxi, the legendary. I see him every time I go. It's been a lot of times, you know. That's the latest here at uh, San Diego, you know, International Airport. Looking good here. Whoa, Toronto. But things are tight here. We are landing over an hour late. Not sure if I'll make the connection. I got stuck in the back of the plane, so I gotta wait for all these people to get off. And even if I make my next flight, will my bag? Phew, my flight to Munich is also delayed. Good news is my bag should make it. Bad news is my connection in Germany is even tighter, and Munich airport is huge. I've gotta go through security, immigration, take a train, walk 15 minutes to Terminal 2, and find the K-gates. But I get lucky. The Athens Aegean Airlines flight is still boarding when I get to the gate. I'm finally going back to Athens. But what about my bags? Oh man! I'm here. I'm here in Athens. I'm here in Athens right here. We're in Piraeus. It's been a crazy long trip today, but I am with the best welcoming face you could ever see in Athens. This is Nick, my taxi driver. I, I, every year I've been coming here for the last three or four years, Nick has always been there. Nick, what's happening here in Athens since the last time I was here? Uh, it's, uh, it's been a uh, crazy, crazy time since, you, since you've been here. Yeah, uh, we lost a couple years, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did, we did, we, we did, we did. Now with, you know, with COVID and all, but yeah. things are better, things are great now. And you're here, so things are gonna get better, that's it. That's gonna get better, <laughs> we're, gonna we're gonna tear it up. And you got COVID. Yeah, yeah, I got COVID, I got COVID twice. Okay. Uh, first time I, I got hospitalized, but uh, things went good, you know, I just did my uh, therapy, came out straight away, everything's good, uh, continued driving again, and then I got caught again. You got caught again? <laughs> Man, that's like a double, that's a double whammy. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is, but uh, thank God uh, everything. But you're well. good now, you look oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 yeah. And, and and Athens is uh, is it coming back to life post COVID? Is the oh yeah 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 everybody's now you know the last month now nobody's wearing masks but uh, now that it's starting to get pick up a bit now it is picking yeah, up yeah, a bit. yeah 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 it's, yeah, it's yeah, a so, smart thing to do yeah yeah, yeah so people are wearing masks again a bit yeah. a bit yeah, yeah but we'll see yeah. we'll see what happens you know see what's yeah. going on but things are good you know we got beautiful weather here. Uh, we got Carl here. Yes. Okay, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> so there's a, there's a lot to be to be explored. There's a lot of old things. There's a lot of new things. That's right. And that's what why Athens always is surprising. Love to be here. Thank you, my buddy. You're welcome, Carl. We're gonna we're gonna take you for a ride all over. We don't know where we're going, but it's gonna be exciting. And this is how we kick it off with Nick here in Athens. Alan Carl, World Rider. Hey, greetings from Athens, Greece. Okay, that's right, Alan Carl, world, rod world rider here, and I am in Athens, Greece. But let me tell you, getting here wasn't very easy. I won't even get into the fact that I was supposed to fly July 3rd, but that flight got canceled, I had to fly July 4th. But here was my itinerary today. Well, it's July 5th here now, but you know, I've, I've, been, I've been in Athens now a few hours, but you gotta hear what's going on, it's crazy. Okay, so I fly from San Diego to Toronto. That flight's a little delayed on arrival. I'm a little worried about baggage, but you know, it looks cool, because when I get there, the flight leaving for Munich, which is my next connection, is also delayed, by that one by an hour. So no problem, that's plenty of time at Toronto International Airport to get my luggage onto the plane. Well, when I get to uh, Munich, we are late again, of course, we had a late arrival, and I only had an hour and 10 minute uh, 
layover. And if you've ever been to Munich Airport, it is a crazy nightmare kind of a place. You gotta walk at least some three miles in order to uh, in order to get through to the international terminal. And that also requires them to verify your uh, your passport, make sure you're good to clear into the EU there. So anyway, I am landed there, wheels down 15 minutes before boarding. By the time we taxi to the gate, it's, they're already boarding. And I've gotta, I've gotta I, as I said, I gotta go miles to get to this, uh, to this terminal. And I look at the clock, and by the time I'm in that particular, it's the 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 the, uh, the K uh, terminal. It's two minutes before takeoff, and they always say you got to be there 15 minutes. They lock the doors. Well, luckily, I round the corner and I see this huge crowd outside my gate, and yes, I made it. But then the question is, did my luggage make it? So it occurs to me that I've got an air tag attached to an item inside my luggage. I open that up just before we're about to take off and I see that that luggage is not sitting in Munich like trying to figure out how to find my plane. No, it's still in Toronto. More to this story as it comes, but it's good to be here. And by the way, this is Marina Zaya. This is where all the luxury yachts come when they want to visit Athens, let alone the infamous islands off the coast here. Yeah, the bottom line to the story is I'm in Athens, but I'm not with my luggage. And you know, I go to the uh, baggage tracing area there at Athens International Airport, and I show them my uh, baggage tags. They trace the number, and I said, where are those bags? And they say, oh, it looks like they're in Munich. And I pull out my iPhone, tap on my AirTag, um, and, you know, find my app. My AirTag says that bag at least the item that's inside the bag is in Toronto International Airport. So now, yes, the adventure really begins. Where are my bags? That has my helmet, my riding suit, all kinds of information for my bike. So, I don't know. Let's see. Well, it's about 9 o'clock here in Athens. And I say it's time to get a little bit of food. Probably a little bit of wine. So we're headed to Corks and Forks here in Marina Zaya. Hey there, for dinner. Oh, yeah, you can sit wherever you like. Okay, great. Maybe by the window over there. Ah, the wine list, yes. Oh, lovely, thank you. I'm in Athens, Greece, I'm in Marina Zaya, and I'm at one of my favorite stomping grounds, a place called Corks and Forks. And of course you'd wonder, well, why would I be so interested in Corks and Forks? Well, that's pretty self-evident, Forks. You know, and my next book is Corks. Corks and Forks. I'm, I'm drinking a wine from Crete, which is an island I hope to visit on this trip here. But I am in Athens, Greece. I'm in Marina Zaya. Having a Cretan wine blend of two grape varietals that I can't pronounce, but they're unique only to Crete. Do you guys care about this? Probably not. But anyway, it's a good wine. I love it. I'll geek out on it, not bore you with the details. If you want, leave me a message. I'll go ahead and actually uh, geek out on wine with you. A quick update. I still, it is now more than 24 hours since I landed yesterday, Tuesday at about 3 o'clock. It's now about 10 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday, and no word on where my luggage is. I'm checking online that it says it's in Munich. Now, when I landed, it was in Toronto. So, it's still tentative. And then today, I'm over there at the BMW dealer, and they hadn't done as much work as I thought they would have.
How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm doing well. Is George around? Ah, oh, yes. There he is. There he is. There he is. George. Hello, I'm not how I say. I'm doing all right. You are fine. You know that my bags never came. Alicia. They're still in. This morning they were in Toronto. Oh my God. So you know my helmet. Oh, the the. <laughs> okay. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, amigos, there he is. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Two days try to, to fix the, the look because look at the look at the other way. Look, your look now won't be a problem. But we have to disassemble everything. Oh my God! Break it. Wow. We change, we change only the middle part, the, the key, the, the bar. Only that. We didn't break anything. <laughs> I don't know who locked it. I never lock it. I never lock this. You know, there was a, an issue. It's been an ongoing issue for so long with this ignition switch that if you ever put it in lock, where you, where you lock actually the, the, the wheel to, or the handlebars rather, to far left or far right, that you could never get the key out without uh, a lot of patience and a lot of perseverance and a lot of time. Somebody locked it. Locked it. I was trying at least half an hour, and oh. you sent me a message, and I saw that you're trying two hours in the parking lot, and I said, okay, I was like this. The people who delivered the bike from the garage where it's been stored over the past three, almost three years, ended up putting the ignition key into that lock position, which I never do, because it's just been used so much. This bike's been to 80 some odd countries. It's got nearly 100,000 miles on it, over 150,000 kilometers. And um, that key has been turned, if you can imagine, how many times, so. I didn't uh, do anything. We just picked it up, we didn't bring it down here, disassembled, we fix it. Now, everything is good. Aha. Uh -huh. New. Now, it's not ready yet. No. I mean, this bike is, is it's, it's in pieces right now. Are we, gonna, are we gonna be able to get this ready? It's in pieces right now. Are we gonna, are we gonna be able to get this ready? Now, it's not ready yet. To go on a ferry ride to one of the islands? Or am I going to be sitting here on Friday, screwed, missing that ferry? What you want? But I think yeah. We think we have a new battery. Yes, we have, of course. Okay, the lock, it's okay. Uh, okay, you need the tires? Yeah. Do you think? Um, yes, I think. Yes. Yeah, it Anarchy's eighty twenty, right? Yeah. Yeah. One, let's mostly, do those. Mostly roll. Mostly roll. Yeah, I, I, I think for around Greece and for I'm going to go to Cyprus. Okay, Cyprus is good. And I'm going to go to uh, Crete. Crete is good. And Malta. 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 It's hard to get to, isn't it? Yes, hard to get, but it's, I heard this very nice. A lot of roads. A lot of roads. Kilometers. Yeah. Uh, okay, but then we make a, an annual service. We need oil, oil filter, and brake fluid. We can do that. Yeah, and what about the sprocket and chain? Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about now. Yes. I think, I think you need changing. Doc, right here, the official world rider you can see. I mean, look at this license plate. This license plate. 2018's last time I had a tag on here. Uh, even though I rode this thing around all of uh, the summer and fall of 2019 around the Black Sea, ended up here in Athens, Greece where it sat all during lockdown pandemic and everything else. Um, we're trying to get this prepared over the next day and a half. We, we need new tires. Uh, we need brake, brake system flush. We're gonna change the oil, change uh, sprocket and chain. Um, the, the brake pads look good. Uh, much work as I thought they would have. I, I don't know where the disconnect is, but you know, they've done the battery, they've done, there was a problem with the lock. Crazy, it's, it's, it's bothered me for years, but they got kind of caught up in it. I've never brought it up because there is a workaround. You don't lock it, that's all there is. That's the workaround, don't lock it. But So that frustrated the service people a bit, and I think kind of made it like, oh, do 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 do. Uh, They've got basically a day and a few hours to 
change my tires, sprocket and chain, flush the cooling system, new brake flush, brake fluid, oil change filter, check the hoses, and just to make sure the bike is safe and ready, because it has not ridden since October 2019, and here we sit July 6th, 2022, almost three years later. So, I'm not gonna bother and worry about that kind of thing, because I'm um, sitting here at Corks and Forks. I ordered this pork belly that's done with these kind of spices that are different. This is definitely not Greek food here at Corks and Forks. They're, they're expanding. And by the way, the owner, Demetrius, I know him. He's not here tonight because they have another restaurant. We'll go out to later tonight called Hams and Clams. I wrote about it on the blog back in July 2019, last time I was here. But it is fabulous vibe and um, and I love it but last night of course I was at vintage down there in uh, the center of the, the Athens I am headed to Cyprus after I sort things out am I gonna get my luggage Ugh. god I don't know hello Demetrius here? He wasn't here today at all? No. Oh, okay. No. Probably he has a day off. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You're making, what are you making? Dessert. Dessert, yes. Okay. What's this? This is a passion, passion cream. Uh-huh. This, this cake is a traditional dessert, Greek one. <laughs> And we serve it with passion cream and ice cream. Oh, thank you. I hired a taxi to go to the airport so I could use my tracker, find the bag, pick it up and be onward. Um, I'm in the good hands of Constantinos, who's my taxi driver here. Say hi, Constantinos. Hi. Okay. <laughs> so stay tuned. The saga does continue. Arriving at Athens Airport, I wasn't prepared for the chaos that ensued. To get authorized to enter the baggage claim area, I showed them my boarding pass and lost baggage claim report. That was the easy part. After an hour-long wait in these insane lines, Gold Air says there's no record of my bag even arriving here. So I pull out my iPhone and AirTag tracker, which shows my bag is here, behind the security doors right over there. But since it's not in the system, they cannot and will not help me. They suggest I roam and look around for it among the nearly thousand orphan bags piled up everywhere. No luck, and I know it, because my bag is behind security. I don't think I'm leaving Athens tomorrow. So I wonder if Alex and the team have even started working on my bike. So I take a taxi to the BMW shop. And when I get there, I see my motorcycle is spread out all over the shop. But at least they started working. Down here at Fahinelli BMW in Athens. Um, you can see Doc here. It's missing some wheels. But that's, that's okay because right down here, I've got them. New tires, Bridgestones. That's, that's what we got to deal with. I can't get my Avons here, but that's all right. But if you look over here at the bike, I'm leaving tomorrow at two o'clock. It's like a 24 hours from right now. Look at this. There's a, there's a few additional issues we found um, right here. Um, loose, we don't really know uh, why that is. We're looking into that. It attaches to the, uh, to the lower unit, which uh, the technician's in the back right now cleaning. Actually, I can kind of go back there. You know, they say no customers beyond this point. Well, I'm not really a customer. I'm kind of, you know, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan. Here's, here's the lower unit that the rear wheel attaches to, which then the, that shock mechanism connects this to the bike. 
they're cleaning it. There's a problem right here. This is kind of a, a chain guard. They don't know if they can get that. This is an old motorcycle. Is that, is that part in stock? We don't know. Anyway, the countdown is on. I think they found my luggage. If I gotta go out and buy a new helmet and all that stuff, I mean, it's quite costly, to be honest.